GE has got this rich set of assets, the best in class jet engines, wind turbines, MRI scanner machines. And each of those assets has hundreds of sensors on them collecting data at one second intervals. So you can just imagine the sheer amount of data that's coming into GE. But the challenge is how to take large data and make it actionable data. The stuff that we're working on here is helping our customers to make sense of data that they've been generating for years and decades. What's most exciting about the future is I can create a digital twin of a MRI machine I can take that digital twin and I can move it forward in time. And you can watch the impact upon what you believe the future is going to be like on that asset. There are complex mathematical models around these assets that we have to study and understand and provide some real-time insights. The data science and engineering culture at GE Digital is truly different. In many other places, creating data science has been all about adding structure to data and keeping data from flowing to other places. But GE, the focus is how creative we can be with the data structure. Something unique with GE Digital is that so much of what they do is for GE Aviation or tower or healthcare and getting to have access to those subject matter experts who know you know this is what we need for blob storage for MRIs or this is the kind of volume of data that you're going to have a power plant makes it so that you can really develop something that's fit for them. The thing that excites me about coming to work every day is the fact that I'm working on important problems that I'm going to be able to predict and head off the next oil pipeline failure, that I'm going to be able to predict and treat cancer before it becomes a problem. When I'm working with those types of problems, it's easy to get up and come in in the morning.